Hello, everybody. This is our Washington uh, today. Um, on this rant topic today, we are going to talk about communication and a relationship. Now, the topic about communication and relationship that I'm going to be talking about today, um, it's mainly dealing with, you know, uh, relationships, basically dealing with, you know, relationships with a man and a woman or, you know, or the like. Um, but it can it can go universal. It can com communication can go for you know a relationship with a man or woman, husband or wife, boyfriend or girlfriend, or it can go communications with you know on uh, a parent to a child, or you know it can go communication with 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 a friend to another friend, or you know um, in all these different other one areas as, as well. So let's get into this topic about communication. First of all, well, we have to understand that um, that our communication is very, very important and is very, very vital for the relationship. 99% um, of our relationships fail because of communication issues. 99% uh, or not only that, marriages fail and end up in divorce is because of lack of communication. Um, the the lack of communication, it could, you know, it could range for different ways or you know either you know one which I'm I'm going to express deeper into this rant but it could be it could range with different ways where a person will feel reserved where they don't want to speak about things that's in their mind and stuff, you know what I'm saying different people also being taught as well that it's you know it's not healthy for you to express one feelings towards each other because you don't want to hurt the person feeling or you you feel that you um uh, you know, you're just too blunt or whatever. But in this communication topic that we talk about today, uh, we're going to go into all these different areas of communication. And this is my, my goal and stuff, you know what I'm saying, for, for all of us uh, to grasp this understanding and we, could, and we could apply this level of communication to our life so we can be successful, uh, you know, in our relationships and, you know, everything else in life. So first of all, the importance of communication is this. Um, genuine, genuine communication provides a means by which a couple can truly become one. In other words, just like we, we understand, you know, in um in uh religious in all the religious texts and stuff like that, um it always um talks about a person becoming one, becoming one mind, one spirit and stuff like that. The only the truthfully the um there are two means that you can want to become, you know, one. Uh, one one mind and stuff like that. Then it's actually through the spirit. It's by you having a spiritual connection with the with the one person that you're with and stuff. But the more key detail about the thing is that you actually have an actual communication with the person that you're expressing the the one expressing you know whatever concerns about the person, whether it's good or bad. You know what I'm saying? So communication is vital even for the connection of the spirit. Without communication. Uh, without communication, um, all the ancient texts and scriptures that all of us are uh, reading and we, we study and try, we, we try to apply to our life and stuff, right? It wouldn't even exist without communication. You know, even furthermore, um, communication also comes from between uh, men and um, men and the Most High God as well and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now, we, we also have this same type of communication going back and forth and stuff. It's, if it wasn't for communication, then there'd be no way in the world that the Most High God can uh, translate His um, will for you know His will for our life and stuff. And furthermore, um, it'd be impossible for us to even know our our, um, our purpose and know who we are and you know I I didn't even all that stuff there without proper communication. Okay, without communication. Uh, they they would simply be two individuals living under the same roof. They they would never find companionship, which uh which relationship or marriage is meant to be. So in other words, and stuff just like I said, um, uh, without proper communication, um, you would just be instead of living, you'd be just existing. In other words, you just be existing and you know you just be existing with each other stuff instead of just living. To the fullest potential that the Most High, Most High God has given you to be. To be. Now, lack of communication leaves either the, the married couple or the person who's in a relationship vulnerable to so all kinds of problems. Which these problems includes loneliness, it, it includes fear, it includes distrust, it, it includes uh, having an independent mindset, um, it includes uh, you know feeling 
uh, not feeling whole or you be feeling unwholesome. And most of all, uh, it includes, and it ultimately includes in marriages, so it leads to divorce. When you don't have proper communication, I guarantee you that if you're in a marriage and you don't have proper good communication, notice why I'm keep saying proper good communication, then ultimately your path is going to lead into you being in, in a divorce. So, <clears throat> so let's go into the definition of communication. What does it mean to actually communicate? Uh, what, what, does it, what, what does the term communicate mean? What, what is that? How can we get a good definition of, of communication? Here's a, here's a one a good definition of communication that I, and I personally read it down. It says a, a couple of mutual unassuring of and sincere interest in each other's feelings, thoughts, and opinions combined with unconditional acceptance of the other person's while he or she is having, having and expressing those feelings, thoughts, and opinions. The, un, the unconditional acceptance of the other person's um, the, the, uh, the other person's opinions, he or she have expressing his or, his or her feelings, thoughts, and opinions does not require agreement with them. So, so in other words, well, what I'm saying is this is that uh, communication is basically this. It's basically where, where you um, have so much respect for each other that you're willing to listen to any and everything that that person is um, expressing. In other words, you know, say wherever it is, whether it's good or bad, you're more than willing to want uh, to have a have a good listening ear and not have not not also have like a judgmental mindset as well, or have a very critical mindset of the person. You know, what I'm saying you do you um you're expressing an unconditional feeling or unconditional love for them and stuff that you just want to listen to wherever um thoughts or concern that they're having for each other. This is the greatest to uh, having the the birth for each of, the birth to actually have a good communication. You know what I'm saying? First of all, even with the greatest of communication stuff, uh, first of all, the communication is not just talking. Let me say that again. The true communication is just not talking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, talking does not guarantee communication at all. So like. Case of point right now, by me, uh, you know, doing this rant and stuff like that and stuff right, that doesn't guarantee that I'm doing proper communication with you. You know what I'm saying? That's not a full guarantee that it's communication is being shared with you and stuff. You know what I'm saying? True communication is hard work. Let me say again, true communication is hard work. So when you truly communicate to one another, it takes hard work to do it. So once again, case of point with me, uh, you know, communicate with you. Today it takes hard. It took me hard work just to put put this particular rant into uh, together where I could properly communicate um, to you. You know what I'm saying? Any other my other rants, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I normally just uh, freestyle my rants. Uh, you know, I just really just express whatever that's it. That, that, that's on my mind and that's it. You know what I'm saying? But in this particular rant, I felt that it's more vital for me to really, really have a have a guideline. You know what I'm saying? To really uh, express this particular topic about communication. Okay, so once again, with the agreements of communication, uh, there are different types of agreements that I want to let y'all know, well, we'll let y'all learn about, about communication. The first one, it deals with the term of leveling. Uh, some of y'all, y'all may have heard of this before, leveling. Other person, y'all may not heard of leveling before, but I'm going to um, give you definition of leveling, what it means. Leveling means this, being transparent, Authentic and explicit about how one's feel, how one feels, especially concerning the more conflictive, uh, more conflicted or hurtful aspects of an intimate relationship. So, in other words, um, leveling is this. Um, leveling deals with having the ability, having the ability to deal with. Any type of you know um any type of communication situation, whether it be something that's real hurtful, right? Like, um, matter of fact, let me give you an example of stuff. Okay, um, let's say that that you're communicated to your significant other, whether it's your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife. You having the concern about um them talking to you 
wrong, okay? And you want to express that too, and that, uh, hey, hey, babe, you you really talking to me wrong. You really disrespecting me. You know what I'm saying? So how will you communicate that? So what you do, you you perform you perform a certain task called leveling, and what leveling does is that. Basically, what it does is it's uh you're you're setting a balance. You know what I'm saying? You you're actually being consciously aware of whatever whatever it is that you're gonna say to the person without trying to literally damage or destroy the person's integrity, in other words, or their character and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So with that same example, you know, you tell your significant other like, hey, uh, look, I'm not have a concern with you. It's a situation that I'm having with you. Uh, this is the situation. Um, uh, how the way you're talking to me, I, uh, I don't like it. It's disrespectful to me. And um, what I want to do is that I want to see how can we re how can we resolve this? You know what I'm saying? Let me uh, express to you what are you doing that's communicate to me. You know what I'm saying? You saying you you uh, you cussing me out. You you call me out of my name, and I don't like that and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So what can we do to resolve that? You know what I'm saying? That's how you level and stuff. But most people, they don't level. They do the opposite of leveling and stuff. And what they do, they lash out and stuff. They lash out to the person. They'll say, "Hey, I don't, I don't like how the way you're treating me and stuff like that." And stuff. You call me this and that and that and that, and you be attacking the person instead of talking and calmly communicating with the person. When you attack a person, naturally in human instincts is for the person to attack you back because they don't want to sit there and, and um, be abused as well so they're going to want to fight back and stuff so leveling diffuses the the um, the desire to want to fight to want to fight back you know what I'm saying it diffuses it right all together stuff by by you leveling you choose your words carefully about what you're going to say and how you say it even when the person returns back to you and saying something where they're trying to attack you, you go back and level it once again and stuff, you know what I'm saying, where that person, um, they might say something real bad, well, you this and that, blah, 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 and you diffuse the, the situation by leveling it, by this, hey, you know what I'm saying, I'm, you know, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but at the same time, you know, I don't want you to, you know, feel like I'm attacking you because I'm not, and stuff, you know. So, um, in this particular rant, this going to be a, a um, a series rant and stuff. So my not, my time is ended on this first part of this rant. Um, I'm getting ready to do the second part of this rant real soon. Until then, fight faith with faith, y'all. God bless.